We have been doing y equals mx plus b. And if you're not too tired, I think you remember what the slope is. And what's the slope here? Five ninths. And on the smart board, it's hard to write it as a fraction like we normally do. So that's the reason why it's written with the division screen. Again, don't do that, Jake. I know, but it's my stylus. Okay? And what's B? B equals what? Negative 5. Okay, that's the form we've been dealing with. But we're going to run into, and on the test, we're going to run into some other forms. And they look like this. So we should be on the Hungry Hippos page. So you have to go down to the Hungry Hippos page. You gotta go in here. Uh, and it's in the notes, PDF files for smart boards. I'll figure out a better way. But there it is. Okay. How many X's do you see in these equations? Adine? What? How many X's do you see in these equations? Nick says he doesn't see any. It's Y equals 0X plus 8. And we could use a graphing calculator. So I have the slope is what for these? No, I don't see a 2 here. It's 0. So this is the y-intercept. you remember that? So on your iPads, you're going to graph 8. Now, it says, here's how I do this. I don't remember which is which. x equals y equals. These are special cases. This one's still a special case of y equals mx plus b. But it says y is 8, not x is 8. This is the y-axis. So I'm going to find 8 on the y-axis. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And what you're going to have to do with your either your finger or your stylus is you kind of have to tap it a couple of times or make a, you know, a dot like I'm doing. If you just touch it once, it will not put a dot in. It'll put it in and then it'll take it away. Which is the reason why I like Notability better. Because it doesn't do that. You can actually do it. And it says Y is always 8. There are no X's. The slope is 0. I want to grab all the points where Y is 8. Well, guess what? It's all of these. What kind of line is that? It's a special case. They're all straight, by the way. What kind of line is that? It's this line right here. Jake, what kind of line is that? Well, they're all straight. Corey, do you know what kind of line that is? It starts with an H. Riley, do you know what it is? This is a horizontal line. Now, you can use notes on your test. So you might want to put some notes in there saying, if I have just Y equals a number and I don't see any X's, it's horizontal. That's up to you. So what's our next y value? I'm going to change colors, though. What's the next y value we have? Adine, what's the next one? y equals what? OK, um, y is negative 2, not x. OK, Andrew? y is negative 2, so it's going to be right here. y is always negative 2. Again, it's a horizontal line, and it looks like that. So this should go actually fast, but you have to read carefully. Is that okay? If it's just y equal to Keaton, it's going to be a horizontal line. y equal to a number is a horizontal line. Are we ready to go to the next page? So you should have some drawings there because you can submit this to me if I put it into the, my assignments. Ah. So if it's, it's in the, y, if it's just Y, it's, it's going to be horizontal. So you go under uh, PDF files for smart boards. Oh, and, right. Yep. And then we are, and it should come up. Okay, it's not coming up. It takes me poking. Well, sometimes it doesn't take it. It just doesn't take it. Good job. Now draw in the Y equals minus 2. And you know you can make this bigger. You guys know how to make this bigger, right? Yeah. 
so that you can, and you might want to. Actually, it works a little bit better vertically. Jake's has got a nice big one. Good job. But I don't have a setup for an assignment yet. Because it's, it's so many steps to do this. Did you get it? So if you're ready to go on to the next one, so y equals 8 is going to look like that. And then y equals negative 2. A special case. Did you get it? Yeah, those are the intercepts. And then you can turn the page because there's another practice problem once you get those. you have your lines in here? Y equals 8, so graph 8. It's up here someplace. Two from the top. Yeah, this is the problem I have. Yeah. You have to pick a color. Hit it again. Oh, yeah. Red. Sure, red's good. Is this pen? Yes. Yeah. Works a little better with the stylus, don't you think? What about this one? Y is negative 2 is down here. So should we make it bigger? Well, we have to put the pen away, I think. Let's get the pen. That's what I don't like about this. There, much better. Now you can do it. Y equals negative 2. Yeah, there you go. There. Working a little better with the iPads. I mean, we are going this direction, you guys. we got to get used to it. You're going to have it for four years. I do believe. Okay? Because you're going to send this to me when it's done. Yes. Thought we were all, all there. Sorry. You, if you're done, turn the page and do the next two lines. Oh, yeah. Do you have y equals negative 2? Yep. Nice. And if you just think, it's not that bad. If you try to memorize, it could be in trouble. You want to make it bigger? Close your sidebar, put your pen down. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, you could just tap it too if you've got the zooming on. Okay, now are we ready for the next one? Do what? You've got to keep it plugged in. You might have to sit some back there and plug it in. That'll work. Because I don't have any more hard copies unless she's got next to one there. Y equals negative 8 and Y equals 4. Those are still just Y's. Have you written on this? Oh, yeah. Oh, just the front one, but... Oh, wait, I'll just give them another one. Yeah. yeah, you guys need to make sure you charge your iPads. It holds a charge for a long time. Yeah, I'm going to say, I just need to get that back, too. <laughs> Even then, they take they hold a charge for a long time. I'm surprisingly better than I thought. Okay, y equals negative 8. Well, Adine was being clever, or lazy, but that's the way math people are. We're lazy. And says, I know that this is 10. So negative 8 will be too short of 10, so it's going to be here. Or you can count down 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And y is always negative 8. So guess what? It's just this line. We're going to change things in the next page. Do you need something to write with? You'll have to sharpen. Okay. Okay, what else is y? What else is y? Evan, you know what the other y value is? Y is what? Four. four. So I'm just going to go up to y is equal to four on the y-axis and draw another horizontal line. This should take you but a second. I'm, I, I'm going slow. That's it. Except till we turn the page. Actually, that looks kind of like an interesting game. Okay, are we ready to turn the page? There are no x's. The slope is zero. Unfortunately, my next problems 
don't fit the mold. They don't fit y equals mx plus b. Okay, Dean? And the nice part about it with the calculators that I have, in the new upgrade of the system, which is coming in May, I can actually graph these other lines. You can't graph these lines on your calculator. You can do a draw function. That's it. And this one says x equals 5. Do I have a y in this one, Jake? Is there a y here? y equals mx plus B. Guess what? This equation fails. It doesn't work because there is no y intercept. So I don't memorize it. It says x is 5. So which axis am I going to find the 5 on if it says x is 5? The x axis. That's right. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. The classic mistake is to draw a horizontal line, but this is not horizontal. Because guess what? X is 0 here. It is not 5. Where are all the points where X is always 5 are right here. You can always do a table of values, and we're going to do that in our next unit. Guess what? X is always equal to 5. So when I get just X equal to a constant, a number, it's going to be a vertical line. Is that one okay? So what's going to be the problem? When we get them all mixed up, you're going to have to figure out which one it is, right? What's the other one? X equals, Nick? What's the other X value? Negative 2. So I'm going to find negative 2, but on the x, it tells me where. 1, 2. And if I draw a horizontal line, that's not a true statement. Okay, so I'm going to draw a vertical line. That's it. It is so much easier than y equals mx plus b, provided you keep it straight. <laughs> Did you get yours drawn? Are we ready to go to the next page? Don't forget the negative two. Yeah. Actually, this one's not bad for doing on the iPad. <laughs> okay, are we ready? Two more with the X's. Are these vertical or horizontal? Andrew? Are these vertical or horizontal? Yeah, these, yeah. They're vertical. No, this should not take us very long at all. So x equals negative 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. A quick check is if I do it horizontal, then they all look the same. I don't want them all to look the same, so it's going to be this way. What about x equal to 8? I like Adine's method. He goes, hey, there's 10 spots here. I don't want to count over 8 spaces. Let's count back how many? 2. Because if this is 10, if I count back 2, I'm going to be at 8. And there it is. These are lines. They go forever. Oh, what was, game? What was this game? I can't see the picture. Oh, you know what? I know what that game is. Oh, do you guys still play Foursquare? That was my favorite game. I love Foursquare. Just love it. <laughs> okay. Oh, and this is another one of my favorite games. Oh, no. I haven't played it for a long time. The dogs don't know how to play the games. That's the problem. And they're not real teachable. <laughs> So now be careful with this. Try this one. X is 4, Andrew, and Y is negative 8. They're not, they don't look the same. They're not the same, they'll have different pictures. So give it a try. I'll come around and check. So it gives me a clue. It says x is 4. Which axis do you find the 4 on? Which axis? x or y? 
because x is 4. It should be on the x axis. It makes sense. Not everything in math will make sense. That one does. So why do you have to turn the page? Mm -hmm. Turn the page. Oh, you're done. Well, let's check it. You want to go up and put your answers up? Which one was your question? Oh. Uh, I look right for that one. Which one? This one. And then I go over four and up one. Mm -mm. The other way around. Wait, so this is negative? This is a positive slope. This is positive. You're going to go to the right one and up four. But I thought it was asking for a negative. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought we were doing B. We are doing B. Oh, okay. Okay. Do you have this done? Check. X equals four. X equals four will be a vertical line. And I can't think of a way to help you with that, except to say I'm going to find x here. But y is equal to negative 8. Where do I find the negative 8? On which axis? Which axis, Lindsay? No, it says what? It says y is negative 8. 1, or I can come count back to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Y is negative 8. This is horizontal. X is the vertical. Y is the horizontal. You just always want Y. <laughs> y to be negative 8. And that was it. So, I'm going to give you a worksheet for you to practice. Okay.